Hey Simleys, it's Deligracy here with part two of Let's Play The Sims 4 Outdoors. Uh, I've been really hanging out to do this part. Um, I know I've been a little MIA and that's because I have been busy doing other things for the channel. So I redid the website, there's a brand new website, uh, brand new channel art and logos and stuff. And I would love to know what you guys think of that in the comments down below, but that's been busy setting up a few other things. And also thank you to everyone who came to the Melbourne meetup. It was insanely amazing and awesome to meet you guys and to hear all of your feedback and just to see your smiling faces and give you hugs. It was the it just like made my year I saw it. it was great and thank you for the beautiful gifts letters and just kind words from all of you it was amazeballs uh hopefully for those of you who couldn't make it or for those of you who live all around the world uh I do hope that I in the future will be able to meet up with as many of you guys as possible in the future Anyways, back to the LP. So in the last part, we just got started. I introduced the star of the LP, Clover, and Clover needed a man. So I asked you guys if you could pretty please uh, make some Sims and pop them up on the gallery as future boyfriends for her. And I went through them. There were some amazingly good looking Sims. Like, I don't know what it is about Simleys making boyfriends for Clover, but you guys made the most handsome Sims I have ever seen. <laughs> so I was pretty much crushing on them <laughs> just, just quietly. And anyways, they were almost like too good looking for Clover a lot of them. Uh, but if you're looking for some good looking Sims with great characters, great backstories, totally look up the hashtag Delicacy Outdoors. There are some great Sims up there. So what I ended up doing is I've combined the storyline, the backstories that some of you guys wrote on the gallery with a few Sims from completely different families into one family, because some of the ideas were so great that I really wanted to incorporate them into the LP. And probably you guys are thinking, why is there a kid <laughs> on the screen? Uh, this little one, Piper Green, was created. Uh, I will have to go back into the gallery to look at who the original creators are, but I'm sure you know who you are. Uh, I have changed her last name and the Sims last name to match each other's. Um, but basically the storyline was that... Uh, the father of this girl, he, the mother had died, I think in a car crash or either from cancer, I can't recall. Uh, so now he's a single dad and the single dad is actually going to be Hawk Green, uh, who hopefully uh, he will fall in love with Clover and they'll live happily ever after with little Piper. So this is the guy I chose. I thought he looked so friendly. I think he was one of the first Sims actually yeah. uploaded. I thought it was ultra cool. Uh, I'm wanting to add a little bit more cultural diversity into my LPs too. So uh, that definitely attracted to me, attracted me to him as well. But basically he aspires to be a cook. He loves cooking organic foods, which is perfect clover who loves to garden he's a foodie he's self-assured and he loves the outdoors what i'm actually going to do just here is i'm going to switch one of these traits out because i do want him to be able to fish like being angler oh is that even a i'm thinking sims 3 aren't i that's not is that even a thing in the sims 4 i don't think it is oh mama ligrissy is calling sorry mom i'm recording Everybody say hi to Mama Ligracy. She's a lovely lady. Uh, there is no angler, unless I'm blind. Okay, so I just want to double check because I really don't like it when I get comments being like, you missed it. Okay, that's all good. So what else can we make him? We, hmm, I wouldn't mind him being a little bit of a romantic. I mean, that would be cute. They could get a little bit of romance going on. Yeah, let's do that. Let's make him a romantic. And I kind of want him to be a little bit more overweight. Um, or not necessarily overweight. It's not even that overweight, but just a bigger guy. Uh, and just because I want different Sims. Like, I, wanna, I want this LP to be fresh. Fresh with the theme of it being outdoors and fresh and playing... 
with Sims that I might not usually play with. So I'm sorry to the original creator if you're like, no, what are you doing, Dolly? <laughs> but uh, this guy, you know, he might work out a bit. I kind of want to see what happens when they eat uh, and exercise with the weight because I haven't explored that much in The Sims 4. It's just interesting to me. So Ooh. is it just one outfit we have here? It's cute. I like it. I like it a lot. Let's give him some other outfits perhaps. You know what? I won't do that right now. I'll do that off camera because otherwise this is going to take forever. Okay, so that is Hawk Green. His daughter here, Piper Green, love her outfit. I think it's so cute. <gasps> that dress is awesome on her. Oh my gosh, how perfect is her sleepwear? This is actually what a kid wears, like not perfect sleepwear, just, just fun. Oh my gosh, I love her hair. Oh. I'm crushing, like not crushing, cause that's wrong. Like, you know what I mean? Like, I really like this Sim. <laughs> Anyways, now you're probably wondering who this last Sim is. Well, this is Giselle Green. And I loved the backstory about Giselle because she is very protective of her son. I think it was this lady. Otherwise it might've been an, another elder Sim that was uploaded, but I thought she looked the part. But she, she, uh, is basically no lady is going to be good enough for a son. This is going to be Hawk's mum. And even though Clover is perfect and beautiful and lovely and kind, she's still going to, Giselle's still going to be a tough cookie, you know. Uh, she's going to live in a beautiful house. He's still going to be living at home with his mother and her granddaughter. So she's a bit of a mansion baron. She has a nice big house. She's a little bit snobby. And she's family oriented because she loves her son very, very much. I'm thinking, I'm not sure I want her to be mean. I'm thinking maybe she should be jealous. This is a new trait that came with the free update. If you haven't updated your games, you should do that because you can also size up rugs. I did a video about it. Um, but I think she might get jealous of other women coming into her son's life um, because, you know, I just, that's just how I imagine her character to be. So that should be interesting. Uh, or maybe her and Clover will hit it off straight away. But these are the Sims I actually downloaded. I've commented on a lot of other Sim creations that I really liked. So do, uh, do check your uploads in case I did comment, uh, cause some of them were really great, but I've put a lot of them into, into the town. Oh, this was the other storyline I liked. Um, uh, this was really, this was a really great one. And this was the other lady. Yeah, so there are a few similar ones that I picked out. So uh, basically, I'll upload this to the gallery, but I just wanted to give a shout out to the original creators. So Bruce Dop Dolly One. Uh, then we had uh, Misty0909 and Jazio Mustachio. <laughs> so those can all be found uh, under hashtag Deligracy Outdoors. All right, green. Take a few snaps, shall we? They don't look that excited in this shot. Oh, that was a cute one. Oh no, I went past it. This will do, this will do. Very nice, very nice. So, gardening skill can lead you to grow the rare cow plant. Remaining funds, 165,000. Whoops. Uh, we're just gonna turn free real estate on. I thought it was on. Free. Real estate. Thank you. Come again. Uh, this is a house that I randomly downloaded from the gallery. This actually whole neighborhood of Newcrest, all of these homes I downloaded except for the gym I built. This starter home is one of my favorite starter homes. So I built that too. But all of these I found on the gallery and I loved the idea of Newcrest being like half like farm, a lot of farming lands and older style houses that are slowly being taken over by the city over here that's kind of coming in. So there's a lot of these new um, smaller modern homes over on this block and complexes, whereas over here it's like a bit of a mix. So that's the idea I, I was going for. The other Sims that I'm including in this LP that you guys have created is Kirstenson. Uh, this was a cool family. I didn't think the guy was quite right for Clover, but I loved the characters. So we've put those in. And I thought uh, that girl would be a good friend. Um, oh, no, I've forgotten the girl's name in the LP. It's gone. 
I'll get used to it though. <laughs> uh, we have a best friend here. I thought she was really cool. Uh, these Sims were created separately and I thought that would make a really cute couple. So I put them in. That guy's really attractive, very attractive Sim. Uh, same with these two girls. They were made by two separate Simleys, but I've put them into a house as housemates. Uh, we've got this brother and sister, I believe. I loved the colors. The girl's like got this green theme going on and he's got the blue theme going on. This guy I adored. I nearly made him Clover's man, but uh, I decided I would put him with this girl. Maybe they'll get together. Loved the Sunny family. Really, really sweet. And yeah, basically that's what's going on. Uh, so thank you all of you who have taken the time to create your characters. I really enjoyed looking at them and I commented on quite a few and favorited some too, because I was like, wow, these are awesome. Oh, I can't believe this video has already been going for like 10 minutes. <laughs> Alrighty, we're back into it. So Clover here, her gardens are doing really well. I did spend a little bit of time on it after the last part, because I thought I'd do some off camera. So everything's, okay. I was about to say everything's going well. We don't have to do anything more, but we can weed a couple of these and we can water them. So we'll do that right now. Let me know if you guys are liking the new websites and, um, or banner. I had so much fun with it. I just felt like it needed to be fresh, needed to represent uh, me more as a person and as a creator. I just wanted to kind of express my personality more to you guys, even though a lot of you guys kind of know me too well by now. <laughs> Alrighty, so this is our spinach plants. Spinach bushes are chock -a full of leafy nutrients. It's my, my Aussie accent. We should go, uh, go to one of the new community lots and make some friends once we're finished with the gardening because I do want to check them out. I downloaded some good ones. Uh, I just Googled, uh, not Googled, searched the gallery really for... Um, the lot sizes, like you can filter via lot sizes uh, that I wanted to put these lots on. And I just like typed in, um, for instance, library on a 30-30 lot. And then it came up with the different options available. <laughs> oh, sometimes when I play Sims, this is going to sound <laughs> really weird, but... Sometimes when it's a nice day in The Sims and it's like a stormy day outside in Melbourne where I live, I feel like I'm experiencing a really nice sunny day. Like, do you get what I mean? It's it's a really odd kind of psychology thing that's going on. But I think that's partly why you learn to love the game or you learn to love certain movies, especially fantasy films like Alice in Wonderland, where it's this beautiful, amazing animation world. And you're just like, wow. <laughs> Escaping reality, I guess. But I feel like when we're gardening in this, I swear I can smell some of the flowers. I'm so weird. But, uh, hopefully someone will comment down below that they're the same so I don't sound like a total noob. Oh, wow. That tree grew quickly. A common tree that produces apples. Oh, look at the other one. Yay. We're going to make some apples. And we're already at level three of the gardening skill. Well, what do you know? She's getting pretty tired. Oh, 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 look who it is. Oh, Piper Green's looking a little bit sad. You know what? Let's go up to her. We should just check to see if she's feeling okay. Maybe that's how we actually meet her dad. Oh my gosh. Did I completely forget to edit the relationships and create a sim? Hmm. I might have. Don't worry. I'll fix it up though. So friendly introduction. Oh, she looks so sad. Maybe she's lost. Let's say she got lost in our neighborhood. <laughs> oh, and Clover's so nice. She would definitely be there for her and be like, are you all right? Are you hungry? I've got some fruit cake. Uh, I mean, usually you shouldn't accept fruit cake from strangers, let, it go, let alone go into a strange house, but we know, we know Clover's okay. Uh, tell engaging story. Ask about school. 
Do you play any sports at school? Uh, let's see. Let's get that fruitcake back out again. This is what our neighbours delivered when we first moved in. Let's take a piece together. There we go. She's like, come on, have something to eat. And then hopefully we'll try and find your parents. Or at least you can hang out in the garden with us. Oh my gosh! <laughs> there was only one piece left. We are so awful. Oh my gosh. Let's serve breakfast. Scrambled eggs. And then maybe little Piper can have some too. Wow! Girl likes to get her sequins out during the day. This, Yeah, that's a good spot to do your push-ups. Right in the middle of the gangway. Oh dear. Oh dear. Yay, we made a new friend, you guys. Piper, Piper, Piper. I have to remember her name. She's like, she's like, my dad is a much better cook than you. She's like, you know you're not very good at that. <laughs> That's such a kid thing to say as well. So many kids will just tell you if you really suck at something. And you're like, because... It's okay for a kid to say that. You know, when you get older, you're like, oh, I better not say that because it might offend them. But kids, they don't care. They just say what, ha say it how it is. And I like that. I like that. I love her green glasses. They're so cool. Alrighty. I also like having a sim in a lazy jumper and leggings because that's so what I hang out in when I'm home. What if you guys actually wanted her to be a little bit more curvy? Uh, she's on the top end of the weight scale in The Sims. A lot of you guys were like, she's not even curvy. And you're going on about how you're being a hero, how you're going to have a curvy sim in your Sims LP. And she's skinny. So I was like, oh, maybe I should. Uh, I'm not trying to be a hero, but maybe I should. Full dot edit Casmo. Maybe I should make her a little bit more rounded. So we might actually do that quickly. Edit dot full. I always get this round the wrong way. Oh, testing. Let's just see. Let's see if that worked. Hopefully I got it round the right way. I can never remember it's oh, full lava. dot edit cas mode or mm. damn it. <laughs> Edit dot full cas mode. Full dot edit. Full dot edit cas mode. I think it's that. I need a list of cheats up next to my computer. I used to have them at my old house, but I don't anymore. Oh, also big news. We have a schedule for the first time in ages. So hopefully I can stick to it. What have you guys been asking for that? Full dot edit cas mode. Okay, so we typed in full first. Please work. What? Oh, what have I done? Is this full edit cas mode? Oh no. Edit. It must be edit for full cas mode. I'm so sorry, guys. This is a little bit embarrassing, isn't it? Whoops. Awkward whistle. Okay. Edit dot Okay, it has to work this time, surely. Or else I'm completely a noob. <laughs> Slow oh, we're gonna have to Google this. Hmm. Okay, let's see. Kaz dot Full edit mode Sims 4 cheat. I'm just typing it on my phone. Cause dot full edit mode. Why is it working? It was cas dot full edit mode. I don't know. I don't know why it's not working. I'm just double check. Testing. 
Kate's true is on. And then we want to go cas dot oh, edit mode. This should really work. This time. Algorithm oh, and Kira. Gosh, that was very stressful. Okay, let's just get her in her bathers. Do we have two options? Yeah. Let's give her some more tummy because that's what you guys were talking about in particular. And a little bit more of a bot bot. And you never know, like over time she might. It's so typical to have bigger breasts, isn't it? If you're, if you have more weight, but it's not really always like that. So we might keep them smaller. Hmm. Big calves. Yeah. Now she's much curvier. There we go. Oh, finally got that done. That was painful. Uh, I'm actually just drinking water for this part. So maybe uh, we just have water for this LP. Instead of hashtag twins tea time. Actually, at the meetup in Melbourne, uh, Simli gave me some tea from T2, which I'm not sure if T2 is international, but it's a great place where you buy all like tea products. It was, oh, it smells so good. So I'm excited to have that in the next Twins LP part, which is going to be on a Thursday because that's, um, that's when Twins is going to be scheduled. Mm. Eat your fruitcake. Eat your fruitcake. Piper. I really like how she's making friend with a kid for a change. That's nice. Oh no. Is she, if, no. Oh. Piper's probably like, oh my gosh, you need to meet my dad. He will teach you how to cook. She doesn't look that impressed with herself, Clover. Oh, it's okay, quality. Grab a serving together. There we go. You know this girl's uh, missing... Piper's missing school. Oh, here you go. You can sit with us. Sorry, I put a plate in front of you. All right, well, maybe let's uh, joke about cartoons. Maybe be like, shouldn't you be at school right now? Uh, complain about fruitcake. My neighbors, <laughs> she'll be like. Uh, um, oh, sorry, I had something in my nose. Uh, she'll be like, to Piper, I had some friends come over and they brought me a disgusting fruitcake. All my neighbors, that'd be the worst. Oh, she doesn't like our eggs. She's probably used to really, really, really ultra good cooking, so that's fair enough. She's like, well, I usually get fast food and I don't have a lot of money, so don't play games with me, girl. <laughs> She's like, but I make a real good grilled cheese sandwich. I love uh, making up conversations from the conversation bubbles. It's a really fun game to play when you're playing Sims by yourself. Try to calm down. <laughs> she is so the daughter of a chef, right? She looks outrageous. She's like, oh, do I have to swallow this? She's like, you put too much salt and pepper in. You should put chili and it will taste much better. <laughs> All right, girl. It was nice to hang out, but we've got to do some gardening, so... We might pop this fruit cake in the fridge. Pop this in the fridge too. Is that the sequin skirt lady again? She's just doing shady as walk by. She's like one of those neighbors who peeps over the fence and she's like, I wonder who lives there. Maybe she just really wants to be our friend. I mean, I don't blame her. I don't blame her. We live in a pretty cool little house. All right, we need to have some fun. Let's have some fun. Uh, we could go to the park. We could, you know what? We might take her to the park. She's, she's a new friend, so that's all right. Oh, I should really get going now. See you later. Okay. Sorry for the bad scrambled eggs. Whoops. So we'll have a quick, uh, quick toilet and a quick shower. A lot of you guys were asking, why is the shower outside? <laughs> the shower is outside because 
I thought because she likes the outdoors, she would like to shower in the outdoors. And now I'm saying that out loud. That sounds kind of weird. So, uh, sozzles. <laughs> she's, she's just like a, she's, she's a little bit hippie. She's a little bit like, doesn't care if she's, if she gets a bit nudie in her backyard. That's fine. That's fine. She's into it. Oh my God. We have so much to water and harvest. This is going to be like a full-time job. I mean, it's going to be our full-time job, I guess, when we start selling it. <sighs> Are you going to sing in the shower, Clover? Ooh, we can peep through the window. How are? <laughs> you can kind of see her boobs through this. Or her breasts, I should say. I mean, that's... that's... There's no nips, though, so I guess that's okay. All right, so we really need to have some fun. Let's go out to a community lot. Uh, let's see, let's see. Let's travel. Who can we travel with? Piper Green. Hmm. Uh, let's go with our friend Liberty Lee. No, you know what? Let's go by ourselves and make new friends. Let's just go. We don't need our old friends. We want new friends. New friends that you guys created by the Simleys. I like this shower outdoors. I think it's very cute. Oh, wow. She doesn't mind about going outside uh, nude. No, she does not. Let's try it every day too. I'm not sure I like this outfit as much. This seems more her, just more cash. Oh, she's in her other outfit anyway. Okay, let's go to Newcrest. Uh, one of the community lots I put in was a park. We also have a community garden like a farm what's this retail and a library let's go to the uh eh, mm. okay <laughs> it took me a while to choose i'm like i don't know oh dear all right And around it goes. I wish it did speed up when you put your mouse on it. That would be really fun. So this garden I downloaded off downloaded off the gallery and all well, this park. I thought it was really beautiful. Uh, I did change it up a little bit. I put in these picnic tables and this rug, uh, the barbecues, because in Australia we have barbecues in parks everywhere. And I took out a lot of the classical statues because I just felt like they were... Uh, not quite right for the new crest that I'm creating in this LP, so that's fine. Yay, friend! Oh, me, Axa. <laughs> Hello, Zoe Patal. Jay Huntington. I want to see the Simley Simley, uh, the Simley Sims. There must be some of them around in here. Let's see. No. Hmm. Disappointing. Why is it that when you put new sim, I swear when you put new sims in a game, they won't appear in public spaces until you've saved that game and gone back into it. See, if I go to here, let, let's just see this for a second. Let's save game. And because they never appear until the next time I log in. Uh, out Hello. <laughs> Outdoors. Uh, are you sure you want to overwrite right outdoors? Yes, I am, ma'am. Yes, I am. Clover has learned. Oh, I missed that little thing. I love the look of this farm. It's, it's just how I imagine Newcrest to be because you can see the city in, in the distance is like, it used to be a farming town and slowly it's getting built up and taken over by the city. I really like that idea. Oh, there we go. Let's see if they start appearing now. I don't think they will until the next time I log in, which is a shame. It's a bit of a shame. Oh, well, I mean, we can get to know these Sims a little bit. She just wants to have a little bit of fun. Whoa! This guy is kind of trying to get to know us a little bit. Let's just join this game. I want to meet the other Sims. 
Oh, and you know what else I wish? I wish Sims would hop off that tram, and I wish you could hop on that tram to go to another community destination. But aren't these gardens beautiful? This is definitely where we could have a first kiss. Uh, potentially. I think that would be really cool. And oh, I also put some rocks around this to make it look a little bit more natural, like a rock pool. thought that was cool. We have the more natural colored uh, rock pool now anyway, so that's good. Alrighty, well, I guess we can have a bit of fun here. I don't think any of the sims that you guys have created are going to... Uh, arrive here until the next part. So I might end this part right here. Uh, let me know what you think. Let me know where you want this LP to go. And uh, let me know what you ate or drank whilst watching this LP. That's always interesting. Anyways, I hope you're having a lovely morning, afternoon, or evening, wherever you are in the world. I'll speak to you soon.